These pictures are from my last trip to Canmore in March, but if you want to hike these trails after June 1st, you're going to have to pay for it. The province will now start charging access fees for Kananaskis country. The money is supposed to help sustain the wild environment. Unfortunately, Cape Country has seen significantly more litter, illegal parking, overcrowded day use areas and trails, human and wild, human wildlife conflicts, injuries and several other major issues in the past few years. Just like national parks, the new provincial fee will be charged per vehicle, $15 for a day pass and $90 for a year. The province is trying to limit the number of vehicles, not people. With over 2 million vehicles entering the area last year, they hope to lower that number by 500,000. But most importantly, we have a responsibility to conserve this landscape, one of the most beautiful places in the world. And quite frankly, the situation that we find ourselves in is not sustainable no more, which is why we're moving forward with a conservation pass. Annie Pumphrey lives in Canmore and spends a lot of time outdoors in the area. She says she's not against fees being used to maintain the park, but says the timing is wrong. People are really struggling right now with mental health related issues um, and financial barriers. So I think parks are such... Um, like a lifeboat for people right now. Pumphrey is a former park employee. She wonders about the logistics of announcing this plan so close to the summer season. A lot of the seasonal jobs have been cut. So in terms of logistically, um, on the ground enforcement, I think it's going to be really challenging since um, most staff get hired on in May. The move has some wondering why the province would introduce it during a pandemic when health officials are encouraging Albertans to enjoy the great outdoors. Instead of trying to prevent people from coming to these places, um, having more funding to grow these places and make it more accessible and have more on the ground staff just to manage it better. In Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.